Well, hey folks, this is John with Ozarks Backroads with you. We are out here in uh, central or west central Arkansas today. We're uh, just entering Tallahema uh, State Park here just outside of Mena, Arkansas. Beautiful area. It's a big high mountain ridge that runs from Mena, Arkansas into Oklahoma uh, to Tallahena, Oklahoma. Uh, about 30 miles along the top of the mountains all the way across there. So we're going to take that ride. It should be beautiful. You can see the view here is just marvelous. So we're on the Mighty Tiger. We're out on a camping trip here in uh, central Arkansas. We're staying at uh, Hot Springs, Arkansas, and right in that area. We're camped out. going to be down here for about a week. And today we're uh, taking a ride over the Skyline Drive from Mena, Arkansas, over to Tallahena, Oklahoma. Should be a beautiful ride. Lots of views. We've ridden the Mighty Tiger down in here into Arkansas, and we're gonna we're staying at the uh, the KOA there in Hot Springs, Arkansas, just outside of town. So I got all the luxuries of home and some tent living for a week. But uh, we're going to be exploring the Wachita National Forest, a large national forest down here in central Arkansas. We'll be riding around in that. I brought the tiger down, so we'll be doing some, a lot of dirt roads and park trails and whatnot. National park trails. Well, that was a military aircraft that just flew over about 200 feet off the ground. Scared me to death. There's another view right there. We might ought to get a picture of that. Since we're here and all. Wow, that is just beautiful. I bought these tusk panniers and put on the Tiger just for this trip. Uh, they just strap right up to my existing... Uh, the racks that the uh, GV hard cases fit on or mount on, why these will, uh, you can just strap them right to that. So that's pretty simple to do. And uh, I got everything, uh, you know, I brought everything I would have, I had in my hard cases, I've got in these. So I haven't given up any, uh, any room that I can tell. But you do have to fiddle with straps with these, which you don't have to, with the hard cases. You don't have none of that. But just to open these up, you've got to un unbuckle here and here and then unbuckle here and uh, let out the, uh, the straps. And there's a lot of messing with straps here. But uh, you get used to it, and I'm getting faster at it. It's not that big of a deal. Um, when I was first putting them on and, and uh, getting them sorted out, well, I thought, man, this is going to be horrible having to mess with all these straps constantly. But uh, I'm getting faster at it now that I've used them a while, and I think they'll be all right. That is a view for sure. There's actually a uh, train working its way up through that valley. Probably can't see it on the on the video but you might be able to see the train tracks way out there where they're cut up through Beautiful. a lot of haze in the air moisture in the humidity i guess uh, can't see real far but you take what you get it's going to take us a while to get to Tallahena at this rate i can't go more than a mile without having to pull over and take pictures that's all right I got nowhere to be and all day to get there so I guess it's just fine look at that holy moly and there's a lake over here I think I made it almost uh, I don't know maybe a quarter of a mile there just huh Yes, sir. This is what buzzards get to look at all day long, every day of their lives. 
Wouldn't that be a job? Look at all the uh, cans of spray paint that's got used up here. Some real artists at work there. Woo! But man, what a view. I do see rain off in the valley back over here. Not sure if we're headed that way or not. We'll find out. Another view. Same lake we were looking at earlier out there. On a farm down in the bottom. I bet that's some good ground down there. Queen Wilhelmina State Park. That's where we're at. Queen Hell Melanie. Queen Hell Melina. That's kind of hard to say. We got a historic marker here. Ooh. Let's see what the scoop is here. That board's down. Oh, Oklahoma. This is the Arkansas-Oklahoma state line. This used to be the boundary, instead of Arkansas-Oklahoma, it used to be the boundary between the United States and the Choctaw Nation. And then after the American Revolution, people from the original 13 colonies poured into the rest of the continent, and uh, the native peoples were overwhelmed with white settlers so in 1831, they started moving the Choctaw out of here to Oklahoma on over west, along with the other, the other, uh, tri other five tribes, uh, the Cherokee, the Chickasaw, Creeks, Seminoles were all moved out there to Oklahoma on the Trail of Tears. So this used to be the boundary between the United States and, uh, and Indian Territory. So there's a boundary marker down here. I don't know how far down here it is to the... Whew! They haven't worked on these steps in probably since 1877. <laughs> so here's a new marker. Or a newer marker. The Oklahoma-Arkansas straight line. That says 2022. That baby is brand new. There's where the old post would have been. Probably right here, used to have a post. Let's see what this one says. Survey, General Land Office, Oklahoma, Arkansas State Line. This one says 1935. So I'm guessing this one might have been from back in the day, it's gone. Looks like there maybe has been lots of posts here. There's an old post that was bolted down to something. All right, well, we've seen the land survey marker. So we're on the state line. There's another one where a post used to be. So they've had a lot of posts here over the years. Well, here's a pretty nice uh, view, a little stop along the way here. Just beautiful country. I mean, gorgeous. It's got these views everywhere.
Well, it's day two here in the Washita National Forest, uh, just west of Hot Springs, Arkansas. We're out on the Tiger again today. So I found a forest road that runs up along a creek for several miles and then uh, kind of makes a circle back out onto the highway. So I thought I'd run up this forest road along this creek and see what we can find. The first thing I'm seeing is an old bridge with a wooden deck on it that goes over uh, the creek. It's a pretty cool old bridge. We'll take a look at it and a uh, beautiful view off the bridge. So we've got an old bridge here that runs across the creek. You can see just a little bit of it. It's kind of a truss bridge uh, sitting on some concrete piers. Right here we can see it's got a wooden deck on it and it's Looks like it's quite heavily traveled. The, uh, the deck's worn where the tire, the grooves of the tires run. You can see it's worn down. You can see the way the truss is made here. Got hot rivets holding the braces together. In some places we got bolts it's where the sections are joined. We got uh, bolts and plates bolted together sections bolted together and then more hot rivets so it's kind of a mixture of old older and uh, newer construction on this bridge this road runs up along this creek for a ways just really pretty That is really pretty right there. I believe this is called Polk, Polk Creek. They've even got little stairs for you to get up on the bluff with. That's kind of cool. See if this road runs through or where it goes. I don't have a clue. Never been here in my life. Well, this road has a serious ditch on the right side of it. Definitely don't want to go off in that. Kudos to the road grader guy. He wanted to make sure that the uh, road didn't wash out. Put plenty of ditch there to carry the water away. Howdy! That was the uh, Forest Service. U.S. Forestry. Right there, he was all grins. He's drawing a check driving around, driving around the government woods. Who wouldn't be grinning? I have to pay to do it. <laughs> Those guys get paid to do it. Well, that would be cool. Looky here, we've even got a paved low water crossing here. Two of them. Oh man, this is uptown high rent right here. Concrete water crossings, what in the world? This looks like an adventure. Good thing we're on an adventure bike. All right, we're gonna have to throw an eyeball on this. <clears throat> this looks like a more adventure than I need. Huge berm right here. And a deep pool. I don't think I need to do that on my own. Looks like this, the bridge just washed out. Half of it's gone. That stinks. All right, well, we'll go the other way. I suppose one way is about as good as the other. I was kind of wanting to follow this along the creek, though, but... Well, we'll see where this road goes. And another good bridge. Boy, we're getting lucky on these. 
Got concrete bridges. The ones that aren't washed out are really nice. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen a mailbox, nothing that even resembles civilization down here. Just rocks and trees and woolly buggers. It's all that's down here. Here we go. We got some water on this low water bridge. Got a little dirt in it. Dirt or moss or something on the concrete. Still on the same forest road. We're getting a view. We're getting up high. You can see out through the trees there. Beautiful view with a big steep gorge in between us and the mountain over here. Got the same thing going on on the right. Well, our batteries went dead, so we had to stop and reload. But uh, it's all good now. That is more of the uh, Washita Trail. Right there, somebody's parked and they're probably out hiking. They got up here in a little Subaru or something. There. Oh yeah. Now this is a rough road. Oh, highway. Ooh. Well, now we need to figure out where we're at and where we want to be. I think it's time for that, uh, the best burger I've ever had in my life. I think I could do that right now. Looks like we're about uh, 30 miles from the, the best hamburger in the world. So we'll check in when we get there. All right, well, we found the, the Blue Bell Cafe. It's basically just a little gas station or a quick stop, little cafe diner with a fuel pump at a junction in the road. This is the entire town right here. So uh, this is Story, Arkansas. But uh, the burger, we'll take a look at it. But it was pretty good. Was it the best I've ever had in my life? No, I don't think so. But it was all right. And they like bikers, so... Yeah, this is the Story Junction Grocery and Deli and the Blue Bell Country Store and Cafe, depending on uh, which sign you read. But uh, it was a good burger. It's all right.